Hello everyone, Ethersong here, and today we're going to be trying out the Lexi Man demo. This game looks very interesting. You can form words to do various things in a game. I wanted to try it out. The Academy Alimentia. A safe haven for wizards in the heart of the wild magic. Deep within its walls, a word wizard steps, sleeps. Or really, this is... A day in the life of Lexi Man. Okay, created by Knights of Boria. I like the music. Let's say work it. Ah, good morning, Lexi man. That was a strange dream, wasn't it? Something about being part of this strange ultra mega demo. <laughs> well, not that it matters after all, it's it's breakfast time. That's right. Get your socks on. Get your hat. Oh. You sleep with your hat on. Alright. <laughs> you know those croissants don't last very long, don't you? Quick, to the canteen! Bray. Oh, for Zom's sake. There's always something, isn't there? Better see what's making a ruckus in your bathroom before it gets any worse. What's going on here? Oh, let me get my controller. I was even... Oh, maybe the keyboard's better, though. Yeah, I'll be moving around the keyboard. Yeah, let's go to the keyboard. Okay, so what do I do? Space? Some spare hats of yours. You never got to the mystery of where the original hat came from. Am I just like kicking stuff around? <laughs> it's like silly physics. Pretty cool, huh? You found this orb in the trash and have no idea what it does. Come to think of it, is this where that creepy whisper is coming from? Nah, probably not. Probably. I'll just kind of kick everything around. What's going on over here? You flush your toilet. The water swirls in the bowl for a moment before beginning to overflow, totally clogged up. You hear a menacing, scratchy chortle from inside the toilet. Grumbling in irritation, you lean in for a closer look. Uh-oh. Yes, you think you're seeing the problem here. No doubt your toilet has been infested by a lavatory gremlin. You wouldn't be surprised if it's already creating a tunnel system right under your bathroom tiles. This is where your magic comes in. Yes, magic. How does that work again? Click and drag warg fragments into the casting box at the top of the screen to make an effect. Spell. Cast. Something's happened with some blue and yellow magic being the sparkle in the bathroom. Pew. Hoot. The weak sparkles suck back into your lexicon, doing absolutely nothing. That stupid gremlin is laughing at you. Is that it? But you do feel as if you gain the ability to spell words better. More word fragments are flying out of your lexicon. This is no spelling bee. But maybe you can use that newfound knowledge to make a better spell. Click and drag word fragments. Remember, you can combine more than two. Okay. <clears throat> what do we want to do here? Uh, we got a leak. We got, uh, what is that? E-I-N? Bean? bean? <laughs> I can make a bean. Should we try the bean? Oh, we could clean. I guess we could clean it. <laughs> Let's do the bean, though, because that sounds funny. Oh, mighty beans. What is your wisdom? Literally just a can of beans. Maybe you're going to need something a bit mightier than a humble channelist. Okay, let's clean it. I don't know if that will do anything. The mighty summoning circle of the five sacred bathroom products. You intend rich of ultimate cleanliness. The fall of lavatory gremlin seeing your bathroom so clean and sm smelling a chlorine decides enough is enough and runs away. 
Do I get to keep the beans? Flush your toilet. The water swirls in the bowl for a moment before draining away. All is right in the world again. Horrid lavatory gremlins. Cupboard. Cupboard. What's inside? Aha, an old tube of wonder medicine. It tastes like stale bread and fights off colds. Really, there is next crop of soldiers in the capsules which go and beat the viruses with their bare hands. Sometimes you can understand why Ressa hates wonder medicine so much. What else do we have in here? Aha, uh -huh, an old wizard burger? I, uh, no, no. Stop touching that. No, really, it's sticky. Okay, so I guess we're going to this thing. Ducky. Ducky. Ducky? The ducky stares back at you. The soulless eyes. Oh. Come to think of it, you don't remember putting a rubber duck in here. Do I need to do something with that duck? Okay. I thought I could do- I don't know, is this like a bathtub? Okay, is that everything then? What else happened here? No, stop. I don't know what else you have here, but I wanna- I wanna know. <laughs> okay, duck. I guess that's it. Okay. Hmm. Is everything good now? So we're going this way. Oh, hello. Did you know you can press enter to cast overworld spells? They're used for finding secrets like doors hidden behind bookcases. But those are just in the movies. But I bet you could move one of... You could move one of... One of... One if you ever found one. Okay, so, um... There's one right here. Do I go up to it and press enter? Can I just, like, type? Okay, I wanted to try something like a chainsaw or something. Maybe that didn't do anything. Do I need to just type move? Okay, I moved it. Maybe it's like, uh, you only can use like certain things. Oh, there's a secret room. Hey, hey, try writing something in your lexicon. It'll be funny. Ready to try saying repel. Remember, you can press enter. Okay, let's try it. I think it knocks things away. Okay. Let's do it around here. Thank you, thank you. Did I get a goal? Do I need them all in? Let's it from here then. I need one more. I didn't go in. Try again. Nice. Narfi Stubbin, zero. Academy Elementary Alexman, three. Lexi Man wins. Overworld spell unlocked. Dog. I got myself a dog. <laughs> Can I do cat? Okay, maybe you unlock spells as you go. Repel all the way. Don't tell anyone I told you. <laughs> By the way, here's another tip. You can press R to unleash your ultimate power. Hmm, ultimate power, okay. What is R? Do I just die? Am I just like sleeping? <laughs> what is that? What am I doing? <laughs> okay. What's up with you? Help me. This student seems to have found himself in a spot of bother. Lend him a hand. Yes. This man is morphing uncontrollably here. He looks like he needs help. Um. I can transform him. Or I can morph him. Can I transmorph him? Transmore. 
Transmorph. Wait. Stop it. Go in there. Uh, let's transmore him. You spot a bunch of gibberish and then fall over. After laying on the ground for a moment, you get up and resolve to use a real world. Or then said. Okay. Um, there's more. Morb. <laughs> I know you can do transform, but I was seeing if there's anything else. Form. Uh, this doesn't do anything. What happens if I morph him? Maybe a second uncontrollable morph spell might help. What do you think? No, no. It doesn't help. Look at that disaster you created. <laughs> He's beyond help now. I'm sure he's fine. Okay. Well, that's all good. I'm sure he's fine. Can I go in here? Okay. Well, yeah, he looks like he's fine, so... As long as he's fine, everything's good. What's with this thing? Sigh. At this point of element, and he's facing... And then his face is burned in your eyes. Can I do something with this? Like, move? Can I... Oh, burn it? No? Can I do anything with that duck? I don't know. Move you? Repel you? Dog you? No. Can I eat you? Wash? Maybe I need to learn the spells to do anything. I was kind of reminded of, like, Scribblenauts, where you could, like, type words to do a bunch of things in the game. Oh, uh, maybe I want to go back this way. Oh, there was something over here. Okay. Uh, beraggled, jittering woman runs up to you as you emerge from the corridor. M meet Ressa, the alchemist. Your closest friend, well, only friend since you arrived. Ressa, Lexman, it's breakfast time. And you got randomly picked to, 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 to help chef this time. I know it's dangerous in that kitchen, but you've got to help Chef, otherwise the principal will never let us out of that basement. Why are you looking at the rest of the hall like that, Lexaman? You know there's a clear objective, but Lexaman, your stomach hungers for mischief. Whatever the case, be careful with Chef. He's fired up about something. I'll see you later, okay? All right. So what's up here? Someone left a scroll of enlarge here. Looks like it doesn't do anything but make you bigger and a little stronger. So I learned enlarge. Do I have like a spell book or something? I don't know. Guys, okay, I just need to remember. Or is this something here? Okay. What's this? Alden Famous Academy Register. You're supposed to sign in by writing your name here, but half the students don't bother. Another half uses opportunity to pen something dubious instead. Jimothy the Krongelomancer is written in bold at the top. You can hear students stick <laughs> snickering in as you read. You think about adding your own entry to the register. Okay, so we can save. Okay, yeah. Catch a glimpse of, your, glimpse of yourself in the mirror. Wait, were your eyes always that big? Well, all right, something's gone on. The gleaming and perfectly shining mirror shakes. Halt, you may not move until you have looked into me. Um, I can break it. I can gaze into it. I can look at it. I can, uh, what else can I do? Okay, I can, uh, I can make a B. Let's make a B. Give me that. Give me that B. Uttering the words. Cast an election. You close the book, point it towards the mirror, and unleash the swarm of bees. Bzzz. They swarm everyone, stinging everything inside, including you. Fall to the ground, face swollen and stinging. Oh, dear. Reflect on your choices. Try again. Okay. Um, should I break it? 
What else do we have? Uh, I can hook it. You approach the mirror and surprise him with a left hook out of nowhere. Oh, I <laughs> with a left hook. Why do you do that? Wah. That that is one huge mirror person. He looks extremely angry. Uh oh. <laughs> a man with a mirror on his face appears and takes a small mirror into his arms. Son, what has happened? This mini hurt me. How dare you hurt my son? The world around you spins as you are transported to the strange mirror realm. I'll show you what for. Quick, Lex man, do something. Um. <clears throat> uh, let's see what we got here. Guys. I can banish it or something, maybe? Ban. Ban. Guys? What can I do with the guys? Apologize. Oh. I can see. I can apologize. Let's do that then. We'll apologize. Apollo. Jize. Okay, you start up apologizing uh, profusely to the mere man, explaining your mistake and that it will not happen again. He looks down at you, his gaze piercing your very soul. It better not. In a violent spinning blur, you are returned to the mirror man, and his son are nowhere to be seen. <laughs> well, I guess we're back now. Anything else in here? Fire. Oh, I'm big. else? Where's my dog? Go get him, dog. We found something? Pet the magical doggo. Pet, pet, pet. What a good boy. Something here? Maybe that was everything. Okay. Can I do fire yet? No, okay. Well... I don't know what that is. Well, it looks like everything, so maybe I'll come back later. I don't know if there's more. There's like a plaque or something there, but... We dealt with the mirror. There's nothing in that bookcase, was there? Okay, alright, let's go. So, I think it's supposed to be here. This little deflated ball of a goblin that's licking plates and cleaning a stack of them on the side. It's gremlin eyes sharply flick in your direction. Want plate? I got a plate. It's still wet. Disgusting. Well, what's going on here? I need coffee before I can start thinking. Did I spell that right? Yeah. I guess I can't do that. Is there coffee in here? Was that the coffee? Who are you? A stupendously tall, magnificent man stands here, frying pan in hand. He grins as you approach. Lexi, man, good to see you. This special breakfast soup broth. It won't cook itself. Spe special soup broth? For breakfast? Wait a minute, you're just here to eat. You don't know how to cook, let alone... Do you doubt me, Lexi Man? Hmm. You always were a stubborn one. Suddenly, Sh Chef strikes a magnificent, uh, majestic pose with a frying pan in each hand. For a brief moment, he seems to bear the silhouette of an ancient Greek hero. Allow me to show you the power of a true chef in his prime. Adorn your apron, Lexi Man. It's time to cook. His booming voice shakes you to your core, yet simultaneously sparks a fire behind your eyes. 
You only came here to eat, and yet the honorable path of chefhood simmers before your eyes. Well, it's time to cook. It's time to cook. It's time to, to cook. This is normally part where word fragment starts building out of your lexicon. Maybe it's just feeling a bit shy. Mm-hmm. Are you too reliant on that book of yours, Lexi Man? I've sealed your magic this time. Because food is not a language of words. No, food is a language of sparks and fire. It speaks to the heart and soul, Lexi Man. A true chef needs only spirit. The cauldron surges a life of flames and embers. You are flung back by the chef's immutable passion. Open your eyes and behold, Lexi Man. The fall. Uh, was it the four sacred ingredients? Onions, chilies, eggs, pre fried, and crystals. I don't really know what these are, to be honest. I found them in the woods. They have a good crunch. Now listen carefully, Lex Man. There's a lot on the line. I need to add a bunch of each of them to the cauldron. Don't worry about measuring, just follow your heart. That's how my mom taught me to do it. Well, I think we need some more crystals. Oh, go, 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 go. Oh, yeah, and some chilies. Yes, yes. You are beginning to believe, Lexi, man. And I must say, it smells good. Keep going. All right, some more of those. Some more crystals for sure. Maybe an onion. What was this? An egg? Yeah. And then some more crystals. I don't think we have enough crystals yet. Some more. Are these like chilies? A crystal or two? Uh, chili. Um, I think we had enough. Okay, and then another onion, probably. And then a couple of these. Yeah. All right, wait, let's keep going. Go, 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 go. There we go. I'm feeling it. There we go. Are we good now? It's happening. It's happening. Watch as ingredients melt together into delicious soup broth. Can you feel that charge in the air? Ready yourself, Lexi, man. Bang, 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 crackle said. Oh, Zom, that's... That's not food, that's a fire elemental. It looks like we made a slight miscalculation, Lexi, man. But don't worry, this happens a lot. You begin to question chef's methods. As if on cue, Grum Grung, the janitor golem, pushes his way into the kitchen and stands there cluelessly for a moment. Big flaming mess repeatedly beats at Grum Grung's stone chest, leaving deep black scorch marks on his body. Despite the vicious assault, Grum Gr hmm? Grum Grung seems entirely unbothered and a little confused. Excuse me. Sure. It's breakfast. Ready yet? Your horrible cooking continues to beat its sparking fists again. Crumbs, crumbs, golden's chassis. Looking for a way to help, you spot something on the ground. It looks a bit like a wand, but... It flashes with the green light as it... Connects to a glowing indicator on Grum Grum's back. It must be the control rod. I can't believe we are using this as a stirring rod. <coughs> Swinging your new control rod in your hand. You grin with newfound confidence. You might be known as disaster at the academy because of your weird magic. But this time, you wouldn't be using your magic. You'd be controlling Grump Grung instead. Time to teach this culinary disaster a lesson. All right, let's do this. Gripping Grum Grung's control rod in your hand, you're ready to command the mighty golem. It's just, uh... You don't know the command words to control them with. There's no instruction manual? No? Nothing? Just need to, uh, figure out the command words yourself, I guess. Ready for battle. His stone mouth grinds slowly upwards into a grin. All right, all right, we got this. I can tell him the squat. <laughs> what is this, Azer? laser? I can tell him the, the shag. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that... I can tell him to... 
squash. Um, should we tell him to squat? There we go. Grum Grum lumps over to the elemental train, slowly starting to lower himself onto it. The fire elemental starts closely, <laughs> failing to move out of the way as a massive golem starts to s squash. Oh, I'm squashing it. It grins at you. Falling and screaming underneath it. Job done. I guess I did squash. I did a squat. <laughs> Two birds with one stone, eh? I did it. Okay. Nice. The fire mantle is defeated. There was a laser option as well. The kitchen is safe once again. Um, I mean, actually, it's still on fire. I set a fire extinguisher already. Who's inside here? You. Of course it's you again. There's a sudden flash of light and elem elementine begins crackling with elemental rage and glimmering violently. I've had enough. Uh-oh. Look, Leximan, actually. What are you doing? I thought I told you to never enter the kitchen again after the rice pudding incident two years ago. I'm just going to have to discipline you again. As a glimmer out mental barrier surrounds Elementine, he gestures with his staff and throws a scintillating energy severe, which you barely duck under, gripping your lexicon tight. Behold the power of the four elements. Energy fear explodes, a doorway leading to a long corridor behind you, sp sparking splinters showering the battlefield. Lucky you, Lexi man. A wave of brilliant force passes over Lexi man as he is violently flung backwards down the hall. Lexi man skids for a time, gradually grinding to a halt and turning his face to foe. Time for detention. The first layer of elemental shield is made of fire. Use your lexicon to counter it. All right, right. We got water here. Anything else? We have dispel. Should we try dispel? Click the start. Go, 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 go. Oh, no. It's terribly burning here. So you are sent hurling backwards to the principal's magic. Okay. Skinny stop, you take a moment to appreciate that you spent mastering defensive wards. Wait, no time thinking. Let's try it again. All right. Oh, wait. Oh, I, need, oh, I need to move my mouse. Okay. I was wondering how you moved. <laughs> Okay. Did I dispel them? Send your palm. A gray bolt of null energy causes the shield's first layer to blink in and out. What? So now we're having a fight. You actually cast competent magic? Of course, of course. This is the one time you show potential. But it's too late. You won't get past my secret green barrier. What are you going to do now? The second layer of metal is simply green. You have no idea what that means, but you'll need to think of something. Okay. <clears throat> What do we got here? I can yell at it. I can bellow. Bellow seems stronger. I can bow to it. I can, um... Uh... I can yellow. Yellow seems like a good way to counter that. Yellow. I'm doing lasers now? Ah! Oh no. Let's try it again. I messed that one up. Alright, go, 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 go. Alright, let's do it. Yellow! Haha, <laughs> the barrier is yellow now, and everyone knows that yellow doesn't do anything magical. 
Oh no, my green barrier. That's not fair. You think I'm running out of spells because I'm definitely not. I've got no choice but to use all my power. Elementine is charging up all of his remaining magic, and Onslaught the Elemental Power is coming your way. Whatever you use, better be your best spell yet. Noob. <laughs> Alright, we got this. Ah! Let's try it again. Alright, go, go, go. like this. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. What did you just call me? I, I can't believe you'd call me that. You, you. Ugly sobbing element you train trips over as he sprints back upstairs to post angry comments in a gaming forum about you. What a noob. With expert spellcraft and lexomancy today, you reign victorious. Well done. Thank you for playing the demo of Lexi, man. <laughs> that was pretty good. Yeah, I, th I think I'm interested in picking this game up once it releases. Looks like it'd be a lot of fun. Really appreciate... Uh, appreciate you taking your time to check us out our game. Join us on the Discord for updates. Before we go, maybe take a look around to demo for any secrets you may have missed. Yeah, I think there's more. Oh, and by the way, wish list on Steam. Yeah, give it to me. All right. Yeah, I've already wish listed this though. I don't know if like things are gonna pop up. But... Okay. Anything else going on here? I guess there's more people here. An entire can of beans for lunch last week. Finally, I have a purpose. I'm a master of beans. Wait, I thought you said you'd show a new magic spell. The beans. He scribbles like a madman in freshly acquired magic tome. The other student looks to you to speechless and perhaps too used to this nonsense. He continues feverishly mutter and work on his new tome. Canalini Lima. Carbonzo, all connected. He continues fiercely mutter and work on his new tome. <laughs> yeah. This mysterious little wizard licks a pointed black claw before turning a page. It blinks its eyes over to meet yours in an unsettling manner. It silently stares at you till you leave. You ever feel like things are out of place sometimes? Hmm? How do I get in here? Let's say I've spelled that wrong. What's going on here? Group Elementine's biggest fan described you as they talk about advanced elemental magic te techniques. Elementine, the principal, has always toted his own elemental magic as the finest form. Fans like these have always gotten unfair treatment. And easy passes on their tests. It's an academy gym and club for muscle mancy. You lack the size and strength to open the door. Not if I enlarge myself. How's it going? Small man sits here under a baggy road and smiles at you as you approach. Hi there, are you lost? Can I help you? Why are you here? I'm here to defeat you and claim the gym badge. Let's do it. If you want to gain the Muscle Mancer badge, you need to beat me. Show me your strength. I can punch. I can run. I can, um... What else can I do? 
I can pun. Let's do a pun. What do muscle mancers measure in? Units of strength. The gym leader's eyes twitches. <laughs> Not bad, my turn. Gym leader rushes over and gives you a measly shove. I can fall. I can dodge it. I can, uh, what else can I do? Dodge. Fall. Mm, anything else? Uh, I guess I'm just supposed to dodge it. Lexman used dodge. Gym leader used devastating shove, but he missed. Good work, Lexman. I see. You are worthy, my true power. Gym leader rips off his clothes, <laughs> and there's a flash of blinding light, which reflects his muscles. He must go all out. Supreme king of muscle fist strike. Uh oh. Do I need to use strength? You have the power. You rip off your own robe. Oh, yes. And reveal your true power with the help of little. With a little help from the Lexi Khan, of course. The gem leader's eyes well up with tears as he sees your supreme physique. It's too beautiful. Please take this. Muscle matcher badge acquired. Thank you. You've shown your strength. Maybe someday we'll have to battle again. I guess I didn't do anything. Yeah, work it. Someone has drew, drawn massive muscles on the picture of Elementine. It makes it feel sick. Anything here? A pile of enchanted weights are stacked here. They're well used. Anything else? Some down here. What's going on here? Two wizards sit on either side of this table, staring at each other silently. Staring contest. How's this guy doing? I'm sure he's fine, yeah. I think he is. What's going on here? This giant rock man is grumgrung the golem. He's used as a guard dog by Elementing to keep his students in check. Sorry, sir. No entry to basement. I'm having a dog. Take that. Can I move him? A number of leaflets have been posted here. One in particular catches your eye. Missing hats, pointy black. Ward offered bring to basement. Anything else I can do with this? Return the orb. What? Speak up. Return the orb. Funny. Some spare hats he already never got the mystery where the original hat came from. There. There's another hat here? Your fireplace currently unstoked. It's always been a bit chilly in here. Guess I can't cast fire yet. Anything up here? Okay. I think that's like most of it. There's probably like more seekers and whatnot, but I think I'm gonna end here. But overall, the game is really interesting. I like all the kind of mischief you can do and how kind of silly it is. <laughs> you can have fun while playing through it and have not have to worry about much. So if you're interested, feel free to try out the demo on Steam as well. And this game will be coming out, I think, in August. But anyways, thanks for watching. And hope to see you next time. Later.